Fitter and Turners make metal parts for many different industries, but those working in this tool room make parts used in mining machinery. Safety is important at all times. The main tools of this trade include measuring instruments such as slide rules and compasses, the vernier caliper and thread gauges, diagrams of the parts they make, and the machines they make the parts with, the milling and turning machine. Their work is also known as machining or tooling. One of their finished products is this steel mold used to make a rubber part called a lifter bar, which helps mining machines to break down rock and extract precious metals. This mold is built from different pieces of raw metal. The fitter and turner measures this flat steel plate according to the diagram marking where the grooves or holes must go. The grooves are then made on a milling machine. The milling machine is automated but also requires a bit of hands-on work. Camphors which make angles inside the moulds would be cut and measured on the milling machine. The mould is finally assembled by welders. The rubber is prepared in another part of the plant. It goes through these rollers which heat it and then comes out or is extruded in the extruder. It's poured into the mould and cooked in the press. The fitter and turner using the turning machine makes a part called a shock used on huge mining drills. The shock prevents damage to the machinery by absorbing the vibrations from the drill. Following a similar process, he checks measurements against the diagram and then turns this raw metal disc to the correct size. In the second phase, the shock is polished and has grooves cut into it so that a rubber lining will stick to it and the lining is applied in the press. The work of fitters and turners is hands-on. Minimum entry is a grade 10 with maths and science and a technical diploma followed by an apprenticeship learning the finer art of the job at companies like Tega Industries. Their behind-the-scenes work services other industries like mining and construction and is in demand all over Africa and the world.